Only on to a family's fight for justice in a case that made international headlines. An Olympic shot putter murdered by his own wife. But as she awaits sentencing, family members are launching a campaign to save her. Here's CBS 2's Serene Branson with their first TV interview. We just are heartbroken over this injustice. Beth Bomber and Emily Penza are sisters on a mission. Their aunt, Jane Lout, was convicted of murdering her Olympian husband, Dave Lout, at their Oxnard home. But they say they can't understand how a jury could send her to prison for 50 years when they say she was protecting her son and the victim of domestic violence for decades. When I saw bruises and she said she fell from volleyball, I believed her. It hurts that much more that we didn't. Right. Cry a little bit more. They've launched a grassroots campaign partnering with domestic violence awareness groups. They started a petition on change.org, Justice for Jane, and a Facebook page dedicated to Team Jane. We just can't bear to let this be the reality that's happening right now in this world. People shouldn't suffer in silence. Um, and shame. Dave Lout's family has maintained he was not an abuser and they were pleased with the verdict. The prosecutor declined an interview, but the lead police investigator weighed in. Ms. Lout was specifically asked about domestic violence in her home and she denied it was taking place. The question I would pose is isn't murder the ultimate form of domestic violence? Ms. Lout was convicted by a jury of her peers of committing just this. We can't swallow this. It doesn't sit right. These sisters say she was afraid to say anything and now they're speaking for her. We want people, not just for Jane, but for other people to change the way that, you know, that they look at these types of cases. We want to use her story as an example to help other people get out. Sentencing was originally scheduled for the middle of May here at the Ventura County Courthouse, but will now likely take place the first week of June. In Ventura, Serene Branson, CBS 2 News.